Welcome to a history of crime in the solemn tradition of death row. Inmates facing their final moments are granted one last meal. Unlike the unplanned final meals we all inevitably have, these are specially selected, tailored within certain limits to the preferences of those about to meet their fate. Curious about what Ted Bundy or Eileen Warnos chose for their final feast? You're in the right place. Join me as we explore the 10 most intriguing and telling last meals requested by death row inmates. Let's uncover what these choices revealed about the individuals that made them. Ted Bundy, notorious for his appalling crimes, didn't ask for anything particular for his final meal. Bearing that in mind, he received Florida's standard fur, a medium roast steak, eggs over easy, hash browns, toast with butter and jelly, milk and juice. His decision not to select a final meal could be quite telling, possibly representing a stance of rebellion or acceptance of his impending end. John Wayne Gacy, infamously dubbed the Killer Clown, selected a final meal that differed very much so from his sinister past. He requested a dozen deep fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC original chicken, french fries and a pound of strawberries. Having once overseen three KFC establishments Gacy's choice reflected an intriguing reconnection with a former chapter of his life. Eileen Warnos, renowned as one of the most infamous female serial killers in America, turned down the offer of a final special meal. Instead, she simply asked for a cup of black coffee before her execution in 2002. Her tumultuous life and crimes were notably portrayed in the movie Monster. Timothy McVeigh the perpetrator of the 1995 Oklahoma City bomb attack chose two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream as his final meal. His act of domestic terrorism stands as one of the most lethal in American history. Lawrence Russell Brewer, a supremacist executed for the murder of James Byard Jr., asked for an extensive meal that included a bacon cheeseburger, three fajitas, a pound of barbecue, pizza, peanut butter with crushed peanuts, a pint of vanilla ice cream and three root beers. Interestingly, he chose not to eat any of it. Stephen Wayne Anderson, sentenced for murdering an 81-year-old woman, chose a final meal consisting of two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a blend of hominy and corn, a slice of peach pie, a pint of chocolate chip ice cream, a radish before his execution in 2002. Oscar Ray Bolin Jr., a serial killer, accountable for multiple murders in Florida, selected a final meal of a ribeye steak, baked potato, a slice of lemon meringue pie, and a Coca-Cola prior to his execution in 2016. Fritz Harman, notorious as the Butcher of Hanover, a German serial killer who haunted Hanover from 1918 to 1924, had a simple last meal before his 1925 execution by guillotine. He requested a cup of Brazilian coffee and a cigar. Bruno Hauptmann, found guilty of the abduction and murder of Charles Lindenberg Jr., the son of celebrated aviator Charles Lindenberg, had a final meal of chicken, french fries, buttered peas, olives, celery, cherries and a slice of cake before his execution by electric chair in 1936. Charles Starkweather, who together with his 14-year-old girlfriend, Caroline Ann Fugate, went on a murderous rampage in the 1950s, who were accountable for 11 murders during a spree through Nebraska and Wyoming. Prior to his execution in 1959, in the electric chair, Starkweather selected a simple last meal of two cold cuts. So there you have it, 10 last meals of death row inmates. Were there any choices that caught you off guard? feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. If you found the video engaging, I'd really appreciate a like. And if you could subscribe, that would be fantastic. A huge thank you from me to you if you do. Thanks for watching. And until we meet again, stay safe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.